So this is napkin presentation number three. So this is the four things that you have to do to build a successful network marketing business. So we're gonna go on a little car journey here. So this is our car. Uh, I used to have a banger Fiesta. I've now got a beautiful white Mercedes with my company, but let's say I've got my little Fiesta and we're going on a journey. A journey like any business and we're gonna make our way to Maui in Hawaii because there's only four levels in our business and when you get to the top level, you get to um, go on an all expenses paid, first class trip, you and a guest, for a leadership weekend, week sorry, in Maui in Hawaii. So let's say that's where we're going. So there's four things that you have to do to have a very successful network marketing business. So number one, the first thing you have to do is get the keys for your car. So you need to have keys for your car, otherwise it's just an empty car. So what that analogy means is you need to buy your business. So our business is a little bit like, um, like an online franchise, if you like. And you have to buy your website, which is all the infrastructure to put in place. And all you have to do is add a photograph of yourself and a little blurb about yourself. And the website's all done for you. So it costs £56 in English sterling pounds, 105 Australian dollars, 79 USA dollars. So £56 in English sterling to get the keys for your car. So that's number one. So once you've done that, you can tick that. So right. So you've got the keys, you're in the car, you're still on the driveway at the minute, we're not in Maui yet, we're still on the driveway, but we've got the keys for our car. So that's number one, start your business, buy your business, and you've got your keys. Number two is you need fuel, so fuel to get your car moving. So number two is fuel, whether that's diesel or petrol. Now that analogy for us is products. We are a product driven company. So if you're going to be making recommendations on products, you need to be using the product yourself because you do not want to be telling somebody your company has the best products in the world and then they come to your house and you're not using the uh, hand wash in the bathroom from your company or your toothpaste isn't the toothpaste from your company or the shampoo isn't the shampoo from your company. If you are going to be making your way to Maui on this journey and you want to build a successful network marketing business, you need to be a product of the product. So the product, are the fuel in your car. Now they're going to run out on your journey to Maui. Every time the products run out, you need to top up and add more. So what that means for us building a business is every month our business um, works in calendar months. So your business needs to have turnover running through it every single month. If your business has no turnover, there's not one product bought from your shop in a whole month, you are not gonna be moving. So your shop needs to have purchases made in your shop every single calendar month. And those purchases can be from yourself, which we call PQV. It can be from your clients and your customers, which we also call PQV, um, or it can be throughout your team. But please do not have a shop that has nothing run through it a month. We, what we recommend is you start building up your business, your online shop, so that there are products bought from it every single day. Now that doesn't happen in the beginning, but as time goes on, every single day, your business should be having products bought from it. You need to think about your business a bit like Amazon or eBay. If they didn't sell anything for a whole month, that would be a concern. So for us to get to Maui, number two is we need to have products moving through our shop. We can't have a stagnant shop. Our shop needs to have products being moved through it. So that is the fuel for our car. So we start on the drive, we get the keys for the car, and then we're going to be driving along. And every time our petrol runs out, we fill it up. Every time our products run out, we fill our products up. So number two is the products. Okay, so number three is um, getting into gear. So let's just draw a gear stick out. So one, two, three, four, Five. We're only going to have five years here. When you start your business, you are, um, when you, sorry, uh, yeah, when you start your business, you're in first gear. So that means you're at the independent consultant level. So everybody starts there, everybody starts in first gear. And then when you start sponsoring other people and teaching them how to do what we're doing here and getting the keys for the business and using the products, what's going to happen is your business is going to hit a certain level of turnover in the month. When your business starts turning over 2,500 QV a month, that is district manager maintenance, which is, which is the first level of promotion. So we're going to call that gear, gear two. So gear two means you've gone from being an independent consultant to the first level of promotion, which is absolutely incredible. So you're a district manager now, which basically means you're in second gear and you've helped people get started on their journey, which is great. Now what I want you to do is help other people 
become district managers. So if you can help at least four people become a district manager, you're going to be an area manager, which is year three. So an area manager's turnover is 10,000 QB a month. So if you can help four people get into gear two, it's gonna push you into gear three. So we're in gear three, we're making our way to Maui now. And then, if you could, so you're now in gear three, so if you can help four people, and it doesn't always have to be the same four people, it might be, it might be some of the same four people, it might be new people. If you can help four people become area managers each, that's gonna push you into gear four, which is regional vice president. The turnover of a regional vice president's business is 40,000 QB a month. So that's now pushed you into gear four because you've helped four people become area managers and your area managers have helped four people become district managers. Really, really straightforward. And then the last gear, gear number five, if you help four people become regional vice presidents, you're going to be a national vice president where the turnover, the monthly maintenance is 160,000 a month. So if you help four people become regional vice presidents and they help four people become area managers and they help four people become district managers, you're a national vice president. So that is how the structure of our business works. It works with helping people that want to move through the gears. And along the way, you're going to find some people don't want to move through the gears. They don't want to be district managers. That's okay. But find people that do so that you can help them move through the gears. So that's the third thing that we have to do. The fourth and final thing that we have to do on our journey is we need to share what we know with friends and new friends, make new friends. So that means people that, that, um, people that are along our journey, um, we're going to find new friends along the way who are going to say, well, what do you do for a job? And then you tell them about your online business and they say, that sounds amazing. And they'll either say, I want to join the business. And then you get them into gear if they join the business. Or they're going to say, I want to buy products. And they become a customer in your business. So a client or a customer. So on your journey to Maui, which might take you a couple of years, you're going to meet new people. And you want to continuously be meeting new people. So those are the four things that you have to do to have a successful business. Number one, get the keys into your car. That, that's buying your business. Number two, use the products yourself. Number three, get into gear and help other people move through the gears. And then number four, make new friends between now and getting to Maui. So those are the four things that you have to do to have a success.